Maybe we should dispense with all the rhetoric and come to an agreeable compromise. Compromise. The key to any relationship, especially one just starting out. Especially one in its infancy. Yeah. Is compromise. That's right. That's a good first sense if I ever heard one. They should. Don't wake the baby. I thought she was supposed to pick him up an hour ago. She, well, she's running late. The next shift called in sick. Oh, man, she better slow down. She's burning the candle at both ends. She got two sets of grandparents. She'll be all right. You're home early. Yeah, well, I can't move forward unless a certain wife makes some decisions. Yes, I, I, I know that. It's just you keep asking me questions when I'm in the middle of something. Well, Mary Elizabeth... Our house isn't gonna build itself. I know that, Collier. And that is exactly why I have penciled you in day after tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Can you make that? I can't wait two days. I need to know whether you want a marble fireplace. Oh, no. Okay, but brick then? No, 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 no not that. I've double booked. <sighs> What's wrong with what we had at the old place? Well, nothing. I'm just trying to give you some options. It's your fantasy island I'm building. Which is it? Mary Elizabeth. Hello. Hey, Renee. Tonight? Oh, shoot. Well, I, I, I told, I told Kel that I'd babysit. But, you know, since I have the most wonderful husband in the world, I think I could make it at seven. Yeah, that's a nice one, too. Yeah, it's got all the lace embroidery and the pearl beading that I love. And Mildred thinks I would look fabulous in Vera Wang. God, there's so many to choose from. I don't know where to begin. Well, it's good to see you so excited. It's far cry from that panicked spiral you got into with Bill. Remember that? Please don't remind me. You were this far away from running away to Paris to get married. <laughs> Under the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> You're not creating Paris all over again, are you? Huh? What are you talking about? I don't know. I just don't understand why you have to hire somebody to tell you what to wear and, and how to be when it's your party. That's right, I mean, it is my party and it's my wedding. And if I want to have a wedding planner, plan it, I'll have a wedding planner, plan it. Fine, I think you should have a wedding planner, plan it. But I do think that you should plan to have the wedding you want. Thank you. And I'm just going to say this one thing. I think you should do what makes you happy, not what, what Mildred thinks will make you happy. And you don't think I'm doing that? I offer this as Exhibit A. Miss Renee Jackson and Mr. Clyde Terhune cordially invite you to the wedding of the season. I mean, I know that you pride yourself in knowing exactly what is best for everyone else, but in this instance, you are absolutely 100% dead wrong. So what'd they say? I got them to compromise. They're willing to reinstate you doing deliveries if you're willing to wear a cap. Unacceptable. They're willing to bend, Jamal. This is a good thing. Well, for them, yeah. But did anybody ask how I'd be compromised? I'm a Rastafarian, Miss Jackson. Hiding my dreads would be the equivalent of bleaching the color of my skin. Is that what you're asking me to do? You asked me to get your job back. I did that. If I was a Jewish man sitting across from you, would you inform me I had to remove my yarmulke in order to keep my job? Or would you tell me we're fighting this because they're violating your basic right to freedom of religion? That's a good argument, but... My locks are my strength and a representation of my unity with God, Miss Jackson. They shall not make baldness upon their heads, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Now, I know you're thinking, any Joe Black can recite scripture. But I doubt if he's willing to give up any coin for his conviction. I think I hurt her feelings. Renee knows how to love, should? You think so? I know so. Now, can I get an answer from you on this carpet? I just don't want her to think that she has to make some kind of big statement to have the perfect wedding. I agree. Shag or Berber? I don't know why I care. It's not my wedding. Oh, no, it's not. Now, you know, we don't even have to do this carpet thing. We can do the whole house and hardwood floor. I mean, I planned to on myself before it almost killed me. Maybe it's a good idea to hire somebody to do that kind of thing. Well, maybe it is, but Mary Elizabeth, can you just concentrate for one minute? 
I'll give you five. Go. All right. Hello. Hey, Catherine. Oh, oh, tell him out. Um, yeah. Catherine, she's gonna be there in a minute. All right. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Catherine, she really did. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this is her father. Kelly, open the door! Hey. Kelly! Daddy, what is, what is wrong? Are you Mom okay? okay? You know, your mother's fine. Your, your work's been calling you for the past two hours. Oh. They, they called us looking oh, for you. They I... couldn't find you. Kelly, are you okay? I, I, I overslept. I didn't hear my alarm. I, I gotta go get ready. No, no, no. Hey, 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 Kel, 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 Kel. Dad, it's I have fine. It's, it's fine. Listen to me. They got somebody to cover for you. Baby, you don't have to do this all by yourself, Daddy, you know? Daddy, I know, I know. I just, I, I, I need to prove that I can make it right now if I have to. Well, how's it going so far? Good. <laughs> really good. If only I could just stop doubting whether I made the right decision kicking the Johnny out or not. Yeah, but any decision you made, it, it, it's the right one, I'm sure. You, now you have to, you know, look at it and learn from it and figure out where you're going to go from here. Yeah, well, I'm trying. You know, we, yeah, it, it takes a while, you know? Your mother didn't always have her sunny disposition. Remember when I walked out on her and Bobby? And, you walked out? You and Mom never told us that. What happened? Well, uh, what happened was that I got stupid. You know, thinking I didn't need anybody's help in making decisions that I had to make as a father and a husband. You learn very quickly that's not the way to go. What if a Johnny doesn't learn that? He'll figure out soon enough who his rock is. I'm not so sure. Walking out's the easy part. It's the coming back that's hard. Yeah, you give him time. Johnny's trying to find his way to the hard part. Harding will have a home the stereotypical images of the Rastafari. Pot smoking, reggae music loving. Exactly. So our major defense would be to prove that Jamal's beliefs are sincerely held and that he has the intense personal conviction to uphold them. Do we also need to prove Rastafari as a legit religion? Oh, no, there's no one entity that can say if it is or if it isn't, even though it is considered unorthodox. You think we'll get this injunction? I don't see why not. There are not a whole lot of situations that can circumvent religious freedom and expression. I really appreciate you doing this. I mean, especially with the wedding and everything. How's that going, by the way? All right, I guess. Even though my best friend keeps second-guessing every move I make. Mildred getting on her nerves, too.